Hello, Abiding Presence Lutheran Church. I'm Amy McLinn, your Executive Director. It is important that Executive Council continue to provide quarterly reports to you, the congregation. The third quarter 2020 report is being given virtually just like the second quarter report. The first report I have is from our treasurer, Delia Hartman. She says, thank you to our congregation for your continuous financial support during these difficult times. This summer, we had to replace two air conditioning units and with the COVID-19 pandemic shutdown, we have had to support the day school with some of their expenses since the school was closed for a period of time. None of this would have been possible without the generosity of you, our congregation. Assuming offerings for the fourth quarter are similar to those that we have received so far this year, our church financial situation will be okay. My name is Ron Noose, the Executive Director for the Church, and I'm going to give the report on the Worship, Art, and Music Committee from Johnny Jordan. Over the, past, over the last several months, the Worship, Art, and Music Ministry Action Team has been preparing for and executing our strategy for returning to in-person worship in a safe way. This week marks the fifth week of in-person services. At the same time, APLC is committed to continue online worship for those who are not ready to gather in person yet. We're looking forward to Advent and Christmas and beginning to look at 2021. During the Advent season, you are invited to attend Noel's at Noon concert series. These short concerts will feature Christmas music performances by talented vocalists and instrumentalists. We are also planning a Christmas concert featuring our bell choir. Please check the church website or weekly emails from APLC for more details. For those who are ready to return to in-person worship, you're invited to join the worship support teams, which are formed to welcome worshipers and to keep everyone safe during our worship services. Please contact Linda Jansen Johnny Jordan, or the church office for more details. The next report is from Catherine Lamb and the from the evangelism team. It has been a joy to see the ministry of evangel evangelism coming, continuing in new ways the past months. We have not been idle. In these unprecedented times, we have continued to serve our siblings in Christ. Our coffee and cookies in the courtyard ministry at Haven for Hope has turned into PB&J for the homeless. We have developed our relationships with the children's shelter and brought them joy and necessities. Ramps are being built, meals are being served, quilts are still being sewn, and Christmas cards to benefit our mission partners are also being crafted. While challenging for all of us, we are continuing to stay together and in new ways, continuing Christ's work on earth. The Evangelism Committee is happy to announce we have added a new mission partner to our roster. We will be developing a, a relationship with Epiphany Ministries, a wonderful opportunity to bring ministry to the incarcerated youth. It is almost time for the holidays as before, we will be providing Thanksgiving meals and Christmas presents to clients of Transplants for Children. We are expanding the Christmas giving to include other mission partners as well to benefit the children's shelter. Look for the wish list and information in the days and the weeks to come. Thank you for all the generous and caring hearts and all the creative and inspired minds and also, thank you for your hardworking hands in helping to serve our community and our church. Thank you, Ron, for helping with this quarterly report. We have a little bit of old business. One item that had been put on hold was work on the appointment of a call committee. Council has brought this item back for consideration Please be on the lookout for communications about ways that you can provide input and help counsel during this process. Also, 
This summer, we did not hold a semi-annual congregational meeting for an election like we typically do. It was not needed this summer as all members of council were el eligible to serve for another term if it was um, their turn to be up for re-election, and they have all agreed to serve for an additional term, so no election was needed. New business, our next council meeting will be on Tuesday, November 10th, 2020 at 7 p.m. Most likely, this meeting will also be via Zoom. If you are interested in joining the next meeting, please let the church office know so they can provide you with the Zoom code for that meeting. I am hopeful that Executive Council will be able to give the fourth quarter report in person so that you can hear more than just my voice and Ron's voice. On behalf of the entire APLC Executive Council, we hope your family is healthy and finding ways to continue to manage life right now. If you or your family are in need of prayer or assistance, or if you know of someone in need of prayer or assistance, please do not hesitate to contact the church and let us know. The church office is open from 8.30 a.m. till 4 o'clock p.m., Monday through Thursday. Thank you for continuing to find ways to seek God and serve others through this time of transition. Thank you.